Okay, so we have a triangle here, and the question is, is this possible? Can we have a triangle that has these lengths? That's really the question. And the answer is no. This happens to be a fake triangle. It's not a real triangle. But why is that? Now, some of you might be looking at these lengths and be like, yeah, I don't think we can have this. And uh, your instinct is on the right track. However, we need to have a reason, something to justify absolutely why this is a either a fake triangle, which of course it is, or a real triangle. And um, now this is definitely something that if you're, let's say, in a high school geometry course, you definitely need to know. If you're just in high school mathematics or beyond, you want to know. It's not that difficult, but if you're just running across this video and you're just kind of interested in why this is not a real triangle, well, what I'm going to show you here is very basic, not that difficult at all. And I'm going to explain this uh, precisely in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And uh, I have an outstanding math help program. I just want to talk about it just for one quick second, then we'll get into this problem. Basically, I have 100 plus different math courses, ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything in between. Um, and I also have a ton of test prep courses. So if you're taking an exam and it has math on it, so examples would be like the GED, SAT, ACT, a teacher certification exam, ASVAB exam, Accuplace or CLEP exam, you kind of get the idea. If you're taking an exam and it has math on it, I can help you uh, prepare so you can successfully pass that exam. And I uh, also have a fantastic homeschool program. So if you homeschool, have an excellent homeschool program that you might want to check out. Now, obviously, I help those of you that are having a tough time in your current math courses as well. Uh, one quick thing, if you are a math student, I must stress the importance of taking math notes. I've been uh, teaching math for decades. If you don't have great math notes, I'm telling you right now, it's almost going to be impossible for you to be successful in mathematics. So start improving those notes and you're going to see magical things happen. But in the meantime, you can use my notes to study from. I'm going to leave a link, uh, links to all those notes and all this stuff in the description of this video. All right, let's get into it. Why is this a fake triangle? Well, let's go down here and talk about something called, uh, basically it's called the triangle inequality theorem. All right, and, and that's kind of a fancy name that uh, describes this. There's a couple different um, ways to kind of express this theorem, but all I want you to know is the following, okay? If you take, for in a real triangle, matter of fact, let's do this, okay? Let's take a real triangle, and then I'll make my point, I'll come back to this fake triangle, okay? So I should have done this, uh, let's say here, in advance, here is a real triangle, okay? This is an actual triangle, a three, four, five, right triangle, okay? So this is real, and this is fake, okay? Now, if you have a real triangle here is a property that will always hold true. If you take two uh, sides of a real triangle and you add them up, so here let's say 5 and 4, 5 plus 4, that will always be greater than that other side Okay, that's left out. So 5 plus 4, of course, is 9. That's greater than 3. Okay. All right, let's take another two sides right here. How about 3 and 4? Let's add those up. 3 plus 4, is that greater than 5? Yes, it is. 3 plus 4, of course, is 7. 7 is greater than 5. Uh, 5 plus 4, that's 9. That's 9. It's greater than 3. And let's go ahead and uh, do that one last uh, one right here. So here we have 5 plus 3. Is that greater than 4? Of course, 8 is greater than 4. So in a actual triangle, okay, this relationship holds true. Okay, so if you want to determine if a triangle with particular lengths is real, okay, think of it this way, all right? Let's say you had like three sticks, okay, or three lengths. Let's say you had nine, and then we had like three here, you know, like straws or something like that, and here's five. And I would say, go ahead and make a triangle from these lengths. Can you do it? Well, let's say that nine is pretty long, so you have nine there. And then maybe you would put your three there. And then here, five, I mean, five could go like this, but that's not a triangle. See, we had this little crazy thing right there that sticks out right there. So you couldn't close this as a perfect triangle. That's the whole idea here. So let's go ahead and apply the triangle uh, inequality with this. So let's just start testing these sides. So is nine plus three, is that greater than five? Well, that holds true. Okay, that's not a problem. 
that's uh, fine, but it's got to hold true for all the lengths. All right, how about 9 and 5? All right, let's do that now. 9 plus 5, that, of course, is 14. Is 14 greater than 3? That checks as well. How Now, here is where we run into problems, okay? So let me scroll down just a bit. So we're going to go 3 plus 5. Is that greater than 9? No, okay? Because so this is 8. 8, it's not greater than 9. So this situation cannot happen when you're dealing with an actual real triangle. Okay, so this is the triangle inequality. Very, very important, but you know, um, again, it's not that difficult to understand. Anyone can understand this. You know, you don't have to be in high school geometry or any advanced math, but it's an interesting property. Now, for those of you that are math students, you're definitely going to see this on a lot of different type of tests and exams. Certainly, if you're in geometry, you're going to see this, but you know, exams like the SAT, ACT, GD, this comes up, okay? So you need to know this. It's not like one of these little, like, trivial little side things. Um, you know, of course, in geometry, you, stop, you study a lot of different properties about triangles, but this is one that you need to keep your eye on, okay? So triangle inequality, and that is why this is impossible, okay? This is in mathematics, all right? Remember, we always want to have a proof, a justification for a reason. You just can't say, I think... Well, I think it is or think it isn't. You always got to back up your answers. That's why it's so important to show your work, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, or, or have a justification. So if you had this as a problem, you said, no, this is not impossible. Your teacher is not going to give you any credit and you'd look like this and be like, well, no, I don't think it is. Remember, you have to have justification for your conclusions uh, in mathematics. All right, so hopefully this video was interesting or helpful in some small way. And if that is the case, please consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, uh, please consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over 1,000 plus videos basic to advanced mathematics. So my goal is to always try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. But my best math help will be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.